Chennai is suffering century's worst flood as torrential rains continue to lash India's fourth largest metro, claiming over 180 lives. With the urbanization, as we encroach upon lakes, the water doesn't get stored and there's a huge runoff which is generated during rains and we are seeing floods everywhere. This is the story of what IIT Madras has been doing to solve these real-world problems. From the issue of lake restoration to solid waste management. From basic rural healthcare access to the challenges faced by millions of Indians with disabilities. When we talk about our rural India, you know that solid waste management is very poor. And if you are not managing your wastewater or solid waste, your water sources will not be clean at all. Cataract surgery has become quite affordable, especially in the last 10-20 years. But even today, there is a 40 to 50 percent backlog in cataract surgeries in rural areas. That's a huge number. There are over 30 million people in India alone who have some form of locomotor disability. Less than 5 percent have access to assistive devices. While IIT Madras is very well known as the leading engineering institution in India, spearheading active research and technological innovations, many have little idea about the large number of socially relevant projects that the faculty and students have been working on, often supported by CSR grant from corporates. Prof. Indumati, for example, was able to start work on lake restorations in Chennai because of CSR funding. It's a huge project comprising of five lakes. Because of IIT's involvement, a lot of investment that could have unnecessarily gone towards construction of groundwater recharge structures was saved. Similarly, our technical expertise of IIT had a significant impact on the solid waste management projects in rural India. Usually it takes 30 to 40 days to get a good composting, so we, we could reduce the time to 20 days to get a better compost. CSR funding has helped Professor Sujata of Mechanical Engineering Department focus on affordable accessibility devices designed specifically for Indian scenarios. Standing wheelchairs, that project is almost over. Neomotion is a startup that we co-founded from our lab. Professor Mohan Sankar of Electrical Engineering Department and his team used the CSR grant to develop mobile cataract surgery units which have been usually successful. It has done almost 12,000 surgeries, that's a huge number of surgeries, in almost 120 villages in different parts of uh, India. Now those who don't know CSR or Corporate Social Responsibility, it's a law that came into force in India in 2014 that makes it mandatory for any company that has a net worth or profit above a certain value to spend every year at least 2% of their annual net profit for social activities. A valid question then to ask is, why do IITs want access to this fund when they already are government funded? We do have some government funding, from, but those restrict us in a lot of uh, ways. The flexibility is what I love about the CSR funding. For 60 years, we have largely, for at least the first 50 years, we have largely depended on government money. And you look at the more mature Western universities, they are less and less dependent on government. And I think we want to evolve in that direction as well. And of course, our government has other use for the money that, that it has in its pockets. CSR funding is also enabling IIT Madras to focus on fundamental research in areas such as artificial intelligence. Having something like this where there is no immediate deliverable goal in mind but more the goal is to improve the quality of fundamental research that's happening in India is going to have much longer term dividends. Fundamental research in artificial intelligence is already playing a critical role in innovative solutions to problems from traffic congestion to healthcare diagnostics. Not only do we look at fundamental research that increases India's visibility in the research community globally, uh, we are also looking at enriching the whole ecosystem around us, right? so that uh, just not the IITs become better at doing AI, but uh, the entire country will, will get uplifted. Another meaningful impact of CSR funding to IIT Madras has been in boosting the entrepreneurship ecosystem. The, uh, the startup ecosystem at IIT Madras is one of the, if not the number one, deep technology startup hub in the country. Many students of IIT Madras are not becoming job seekers. Instead, they are becoming more of a job providers by starting their own company. In a matter of past four or five years of the incubator uh, in existence, uh, about 160 companies have been uh, incubated so far and uh, collectively offered jobs to about 2,500 people. 
Today, IIT Madras is working in all key social areas from water purification to solar energy to technological education. Today, it's possible for uh, the corporates to pick up from the available research work done by faculty or corporates and IIT can work together, create a custom design CSR solution to the market. CSR money that is invested in a technology driven scalable solutions have a longer lasting impact as well as a multiplier effect. Did you know that on YouTube, when you subscribe to our channel and don't press on the bell icon, YouTube does not always notify you when a new video gets uploaded. Just letting you know for your kind information. Hi, I'm Amrit. I make a lot of videos. I vlog about my life. I make short documentary films. Three minute stories. Companies, non-profits, startups, schools, universities. They hire me to tell their stories or the stories of those they impact. So that they can sell more, raise funds, attract people to work for them. And then there's the second type of stories where I go find amazing individuals doing amazing things. And they don't hire me as such, but I tell their stories because their stories deserve to be told. In fact, you can help me fund those stories at patreon.com slash whatsapp. I come from an IIT business consulting background, but after a few years of corporate job, took a break to become a wedding photographer. I still shoot at weddings across India. There is something beautiful about creating art from weddings. There is something beautiful about creating art from anything. Mm -hmm.